Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Friday, February 17th, 2023. I am Fredicia Leibert. Monday, February 20th, will be Budget Day in Nevis, according to the order paper dated February 15th and circulated by Clark of the Nevis Island Assembly, Myra Williams. During Monday's sitting, the Honorable Minister of Finance, Mark Brantley, will lay on the table the Nevis Island Administration's draft estimates of expenditure 2023. The Honorable Minister of Finance will also seek leave to introduce and have read a first time, the Davis Appropriation 2023 Bill 2023, a bill to appropriate certain sums of money for the use of the public service of the island of Nevis for the financial year commencing on January 1st, 2023 and ending on December 31st, 2023. The Honourable Minister of Finance will also move the second reading of the Nevis Appropriation 2023 Bill 2023. Monday's sitting will commence with the formal entry of President of the Nevis Island Assembly, the Honourable Michelle Slack. This will be followed by prayers, the confirmation of minutes, a motion for the approval of the order paper as circulated, messages from the Deputy Governor General, and announcements by the President. The sitting will also include statements by ministers, personal explanations, resolutions, and the subsequent adjournment. Mr. Manners, I want to thank you on behalf of the Ministry of Education, on behalf of the Library Services. We want to thank you because this, I believe, is going to create some traffic mm -hmm. to the library. Permanent Secretary Kevin Barrett made those remarks as he accepted copies of Stevenson Manor's new book on behalf of the Nevis Public Library and Nevis Sports Museum on Monday, February 13th. The book, titled The Father, Son and Offsprings, The Enchanting Story of Nevis Cricket, looks at the evolution of the game of cricket on Nevis from 1945 to 2023. Well, I want to congratulate you not only putting this together, but also recognizing Mr. Willett and all the others who you would have um, penned in your book. But I speak of Mr. Willett in this light because of the relationship that I've had with him. Mm -hmm. From her hearing of him when I was at the boys' school mm -hmm. and then as a coach at the Charleston Primary School that I taught and was principal as well and we have had very very good relations that was through athletics but what you have documented here in terms of his cricketing prowess I know that there are a lot of people who only have heard of Mr. Willett but I am sure you would have done your research and statistics are here to back up all that we are saying. Nevis, though the tiniest Leeward Island, was the first to produce an international cricketer in El Camido Tonito Willett on March 9th, 1973. If I could say in a metaphorical figure of speech about Mr. Willett, he's an institution. Because through your hands, we have seen young cricketers we have seen athletes and i looked at a team just a few years ago and there were some young cricketers who were selected to the leeward islands i think it was on the 19 and except for one cricketer from nevis who made that team all of the others went to the Charleston Primary School. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the exception to that was a cricketer who would have also benefited from Mr. Willett, who was Carlin Tuckett. Mm -hmm. And he would have gone to the Mark Cross Preparatory School. But I know Mr. Willett had a hand in his coming through as a young cricketer. So, Mr. Manners, I want to thank you on behalf of the Ministry of Education, on behalf of the Library Services. We want to thank you because this, I believe, is going to create some traffic mm -hmm. to the library. A copy of Stevenson Manor's book can be accessed at the Nevis Public Library. It is also available for sale on Amazon.com. Still to come? We feel that there's a strong bond that can be made between education 
analytics. The details right after this break. The people of Nevis have long remained connected to the gifts nature has bestowed. As an ambassador of this majestic island, it is my duty to encourage my people to nurture, preserve and protect what makes us unique as a people and strong as a country. Welcome back. The Nevis Football Association, NFA, hosted a press briefing on Wednesday, February 15th to officially launch the Regency Assurance Nevis Grassroots Football Program. Member of the NFA, Jamia Claxton, who chaired the event, said it was also an occasion to announce the sponsorship agreement between the Global Insurance and Financial Services Company and the NFA. Kate Tebet, Head of Community Engagement at Regency Assurance, who addressed the event via video, expressed delight that the company has been given the opportunity to play a role in the constructive growth of the island's young footballers. The grassroots program delivers on so many objectives within our corporate social responsibility pledge such as working with local communities to achieve goals on good health and well-being, on education. I'm incredibly grateful to the NFA's management team, and in particular to Mr. France and Mr. Claxton, who have brought this opportunity our way. We're very proud to fully sponsor the grassroots program this year and we're really excited to see the young people out there enjoying the training soon. President of the Nevis Football Association, Everett France, provided some background on the grassroots football program and shared his thoughts on the partnership between the NFA and Regency Assurance. The grassroots program is something that's been happening in Nevis for a number of years. We've seen development from kids such as yourself primary school, go on to high school, need to go off to college. And that's something that we want to see happen very often. We want to see some consistency there and make sure we can see the full development of each and every one of you. We feel that there's a strong bond that can be made between education and athletics. So Regency Assurance has assisted the NFA in making sure that commitment can be stable, making sure the environment is clean, is positive, and is somewhere for you guys to be able to go. They are heavily invested in the development of Nevis, not just football, but Nevis as a whole. And as Jamie would have mentioned, they have been making strides in different areas. So with our partnership, it is our goal to ensure that this remains consistent. Also at the head table were Algie Newton, grassroots football coach, who said he is glad Regency Assurance has partnered with the NFA to ensure the sports program for children can continue, and Nicola Frazier, who endorsed the program in her capacity of education officer responsible for health and wellness. Among those in attendance were primary school students who are members of the Nevis Grassroots Football Program. The Ministry of Tourism cordially invites the public to the official celebration of the 20th anniversary of the Nevisian Heritage Village located at Fothergill's Gingerland. The event takes place on Wednesday, February 22nd from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Interested persons can RSVP by calling 469-5521 extension 6440 or 6447. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing.